thousands of people in Karnataka and Kerala have been left physically and intellectually disabled due to the use of endosulfan, the insecticide which was used widely in cashew farming. Now, aerial spraying of endosulfan wreaked uh, havoc uh, over two decades between 1980s and 2000 in three Karnataka districts, leaving many people in physical and mental with me, uh, physical and mental deformities. Now, victims in Karnataka are threatening to protest from Saturday, saying that the government has forgotten them after feeding them poison. 40-year-old Sridhar Gowda has only 2% vision in his left eye and is completely blind in his right eye. He struggles to manage his expenses with the 3,000 rupees pension he gets for being a victim of endosulfan usage. He often depends on his brother to help him. Sridhar is one among many victims of the use of endosulfan for two decades in the 80s and the 90s. He was directly exposed to the harmful chemical when it was sprayed aerially over the cashew nut crop. Now, Shida and hundreds of other endosulfan affected people like him are threatening to sit on a fast until death to demand better care from the government, similar to that provided by neighboring Kerala. The endosulfan victims say the government is responsible for ruining their life and the lives of generations to come, so it can't wash off its hand by paying a meagre sum every month. They're saying the assistance should be much more and the government should rehabilitate families that have been badly hit because of this. Kerala government gives so many uh, facilities. They give 5 lakhs compensation, 5,000 pension, and uh, neutral, uh, nutrition, food, and medication, and shelter. But Karnataka government uh, gave nothing. The state government started giving pension to affected people after a Karnataka High Court order in 2011. But sufferers say their request to the chief minister seeking more help has got no response. And so they have decided to fast in protest. The government says the current pension mechanism is working efficiently and any demand for increase should be taken to the district committee and the state will look into it. The government estimates that there are more than 6,500 endosulfan victims in Karnataka. In January, Four members of a family, including two endosulfan victims, committed suicide in Beltangadi Taluk after struggling to make ends meet. With camera person Govind Harishupadhyay, NDTV, Bengaluru.